Main man back at it again with some more beer and some more Yu-Gi-Oh. Real excited. I'm Lucky Lance, the leader of Last Best Hope, whatever that means. This is a channel I open up beer, open up Yu-Gi-Oh, maybe do a deck profile once every four years. Something. Just getting drunk and open up Yu-Gi-Oh. Got a whole menagerie of dogs watching me, so I never feel alone when making this. I've got a bit of a dog problem. A lot of animals running through this house now. I love them all. I don't know if they love me, but it's kind of, you know, that's how it works, you know. Let me ask you, have you ever, has your dog ever betrayed you? And let me ask you this too, have you ever betrayed your dog? The answer for me is yes on both. Dogs have betrayed me and I've betrayed the dogs. I. But they live a good life. They live a life better than me. I go to work every day and they lay around and sleep and eat and shit. I do all that too, but except I have to work in between. Uh, anyways, I got before I get to the Yu-Gi-Oh opening, which is a special one. I got a sponsor I can get to, get $25, keep these lights running, open up these packs, do all that stuff. My sponsor is a local sponsor, of course, from here in the mountains of Ravensdale, Cumberland, Enumclaw area. I guess we'll throw in Black Diamond and Selleck, too. Not really. I don't really like Black Diamond. But my sponsor is... Now, this is a good one for me. I Let me tell you right now. I, I sprinkle this stuff on my food all the time. I'm talking about Penguin Parmesan. Yes, it's a locally produced Parmesan for flavor enhancing your meal. For me, that's Hamburger Helper. It's a Penguin Parmesan made by Gary Joy. That's right, with two R's in his name, not one. It's Gary, or Gary. Um, Gary was really excited at the beer mart when I was buying beer at Mountain Dew and one pound breakfast burritos. And uh, he was like, Lance, I, I got $25 for you to sponsor my product. And, uh, all right. So he told me the gist, but he's also going to make commercials and for TV and radio for this, so he gave me a little script here he wants me to read. And uh, it's I guess it's going to be a commercial on TV, so you're getting a sneak preview of what this is going to be. So this is very exciting. Uh, so the setting, the setting is it's dinner at a generic family. Uh, there's a dad, a mom, and a boy. So it's a three-person family, just a one-child family. So you know that child's going to be spoiled rotten. That's just going to happen. He's the only child. That's what always happens. Uh, so here we go. The scene goes, uh, Dad, the dad says, Hamburger helper again? This makes supper dull. The boy says, Same old dry taters too? This meal is in a lull. And then the mom says, they hate my cooking. Won't someone save me? And that's when this penguin busts through the wall with a sled behind it filled with penguin parmesan products and yells, what you need, ma'am, is a bottle of penguin parmesan. And it says here that penguin parmesan is a delicious additive that goes with any meal. Try it on hamburger helper or any sort of, of dish that you cook. can be found now at your local Cumberland Beer Mart. So it's there. If you're going by Cumberland, go ahead and stop and get some penguin parmesan. It's that penguin busting through your wall. That's pretty insane. I love parmesan on my hamburger helper, and I'm addicted to hamburger helper, so that's good. Uh, thank you, uh, Gary uh, Joy and uh, Penguin Parmesan for the $25. Really appreciate it. I'm going to try that out myself. Yeah. So, guys, today... Y'all can read by the video title. It's a new core set came out today. And this is one in particular I've been waiting for for months. It, because it's got Thunder Dragons in it. That's right. I'm talking about Soul Fusion. Now, what's interesting is I do like the tagline for it. Danger. I almost dropped the box. Danger. Beware. They're promoting the Danger archetype like I've never seen them prom promote a TCG exclusive archetype. They have taken cards off the ban list to make danger better. Every danger monster so far has been good. And I think the two new spell and traps they got in this set are good too. There's only got one bad card like, like that's really bad. Like it will never see play and that's that field spell. The two, the two new cards they got this time I think well, are definitely good enough to see play. Especially the ultra danger rescue team I think it is. 
I think that will be a really good card coming up. Um, obviously, the Thunder Dragers are huge in this. I had a really good sneak peek. I got 40 packs from sneak peek. I got a Danger Colossus. I'm not a Danger. Thunder Dragon Colossus and Thunder Dragon Titan. I also managed to pull a Danger Fat Snake, the fat little snake to Snoko or whatever his name is, and Danger Thunderbird. And I got two Secret Rare Orchestrated Returns. Plus, I got a couple of good Ultras for the Thunder Dragons. I still have not pulled a Thunder Dragon Dark. Love to get that one. Um, but this is a set I've been waiting for forever. And uh, it feels that way, and I can't believe I finally have it. I can't believe I finally have access to so many of it. Um, and I'm just really excited for Thunder Dragon. I've been playing Thunder Dragon online for over three months now, and I can now officially start taking it to locals this weekend coming up in a couple days so anyways guys if i get a thunder dragon colossus out of this box i will hoot and holler and skip and jump for joy i'm gonna head over yonder i'm gonna tear this damn plastic off this thing was that cellophane wrap i never noticed the hands before on cyber's clock dragon they're pretty weird looking what is that his hands look like they're like mittens or they're not mittens but weird gloves i don't know cyber's clock dragon I really wish they put better monsters for the cover monster. I'd like, what would be a good one on this? Like Thunder Dragon Colossus. <laughs> you know, I only have Thunder Dragon Colossus. I w and you know what would have been really cool too? So I really appreciate them putting Danger Beware as the, uh, as the tagline. But I would have thought it would have been really cool to have the Thunder Rolls. Now that would have been sick. To have this have some sort of mention of Thunder Dragon. The Short Prince Secrets, by the way. I'm not sure what they are. Nobody has officially confirmed what they are in any sort of mathematical fashion like normal. So all we can go off is rumor. One, Thunder Dragon Colossus does appear to be the short print. The other two look like it's a toss between Thunder Dragon Titan and Chaos Dragon Levier or whatever its name is and any one of the Danger Secret Rares. So there's like, there's like five cars that could be a short print secret, but we're going to find out this weekend what really is. And if both Thunder Dragon Fusion Monsters are secret rare, I mean, our, our short print secret rares, they really hit the Thunder Dragon players hard, man. <laughs> That's going to be expensive to get three of each of those. But anyways, luckily for those of us that have money, like somebody you might be watching, it's not too bad. So anyways, guys, I'm going to head over yonder, going to rip that box open, we're going to really enjoy ourselves this one. There's so many good cards in this set. So many good cards. There's really the only bad secret you can pull, in my opinion, and it's not even a bad card, is the Condemned Witch. Or I don't know if they renamed her. And then there's also Orchestrated Return, which I don't think is a bad card either. I think both every secret rare in this set is good. Like it's, It deserves to be a secret rare. So, anyways, guys, it's almost Halloween. Hope you got your costume ready. You only got two damn months because Halloween store opens up September 1st now. I remember back in the good old days, it used to open up like October 29th. But anyways, guys, let's do this. Let's get the thunder rolling. Let's get some lightning striking. And let's do this. And let's make also sure that we get drunk. All right, it's time to get in there. All right, I'm trying the new uh, camera technique again. I think it showed it pretty good last time. All right, Soul Fusion with Cyber's Clock Dragon on the front. Some people have been calling it the wrong monster. Some people have said, oh, that's the new Galaxy Eyes monster. I'm like, no, it's not. I know, because I pulled the Cyber's Clock Monster. Alright, here we go. Come on, let this box be thundery. With just all sorts of lightning bolts and everything explode out of it. I want four Ultra Rare Th Thunder Dragon and two Secret Rare Thunder Dragon. Now, now, that would be one hell of a box to get all four Ultras for Thunder Dragon and both Secrets. Here we go. The Thunder Rolls, hopefully. All right, Edgent Comp Cotton Eater, Dino Rest. How many Dino Rest are those I get? Extra Foolish Burial and Thunder Dragon Matrix. Need those. The Incan Incan Incantation Pencil Plume. Uh, those incantation cards are really good for rituals. Like they can make any ritual deck like function. It's nuts. Nuts. Bear Blocker. King T. Rexel. <laughs> Visibility Barrier, Galaxy Brave, Danger Dog Man, Patchwork Fluffle, Surf Stage Divers. What is this? 
Is this more of this going on with the uh, beautiful or whatever it is? <laughs> Ridiculous. Predaplant Dragostapelia. Man, some of those cards like Patchwork Fluffle and stuff. Is that a new card? I don't think it is. I know the couple of the Fluffle cards in here are old support. Agave Dragon, Galaxy Brave, Orchestrated Attack, Condemned Witch Secret Rare, and Necro Valley Temple Rare, Salmongrate Falco, Orchestrated Instance, uh, DDD Super Doom, King Purple Armageddon, wow, what a name, Eternal Galaxy. All right, got the Secret Rare Condemned Witch. Wasn't she, was she Condemned Maiden? I can't remember, was that the old? There's another Condemned card, I think it was Condemned I don't know. Anyways, when this card is normal summoning, you add one forbidden quick play spell from your deck to your hand. During your opponent's main phase quick effect, you contribute this card, special summon one level four fairy monster from your deck, except Condemned Witch. You can only use each effect of Condemned Witch once per turn. This card can be really good. Um, I mean, obviously being able to add any of the, the uh, forbidden quick play cards, which people read that wrong and thought you could add like a forbidden card from deck to hand, like Pot of Greed's like, no. You can add Forbidden Lands, Forbidden Chalice, Forbidden Dress. I don't really that's it. I think they had like another Forbidden card, but I don't know if that's even a quick play one. I remember Forbidden Lands was just super, super good. Like, people were using it in every deck. And it was really confusing for me for a while because people kept wanting it, so they keep saying Lands. I thought they were talking to me, and it turned out they were just talking about Forbidden Lands. All right, Crusader Crawler, orchestrated attack. Till no arms are once again needed. World Dino Wrestling. Some Summer Summoner. You need this for uh, Thunder Dragons. And Orchest Brass Bombard. <laughs> That's a weird new name for that. Orchestrated Core, Dino Wrestler, Capioraptor, and Diana the Light Spirit. I like this monster, actually. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, it's okay. But I just I I like monsters with simple effects like that, like Diana. Uh, invisibility barrier, Salmon Great Emerald Eagle, Salmon Great Gift, Thunder Dragon Fusion Ultra Rare. There we go. Thunder and Galaxy Trance, Crusadia Spatha. Uh, man, I can't even say the Dino Wrestler names. There's this Ca Capio Raptor. Will Salomon Great and Galaxy Cleric. Thunder Dragon Fusion is a really good fusion card, in my opinion, for the archetype. Uh, some people are only running one. I run two. I think three is too many, but I think you need to run two. Uh, fusion is one Thunder Fusion monster from your extra deck. By shuffling the fusion materials listed on into the deck from among your cards on the field and your graveyard and your face-up banish cards. During your main phase, if the card take up the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one Thunder Monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect of Thunder Dragon Fusion once per turn. Uh, really good. It's really good because it recycles all your used stuff. I've had before where I use this because I have a Thunder Dragon regular Thunder Dragon in my hand, and there's two Thunder Dragons in the grave, and I have a Thunder Dragon, I make Thunder Dragon Titan, and then since I just sent back the two Thunder Dragons, I can now blow up two cards on the field with the newly summoned Thunder Dragon Titan. It's pretty sick. I really like it. Uh, World of Legacy, World Wand, uh, Bookstone, Cotton Eater, Capitara, Mystic, Mystric Holder. What is this card? Oh. Huh, this could be interesting support for uh, uh, danger, but actually not really, it's terrible. Orca Symbol Skeleton, the Revenge of the Normal. Look at this, all these normal little monsters on there. What we got there, we got Moki Moki, Petite Dragon. Uh, I can't remember the other one's names. Uh, Salmon Great Mirror. I can't believe Salmon is now an archetype too. It's a weird to think that just like three months ago, Thunder Dragon was like one of the worst cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! at the time, and now it's like a needed card. Uh, Capitara, Crusader Crawler, Rise of Salmon Great, Danger Mothman. Uh, me and my buddy Wicked Will talked immensely about a Mothman being one of the danger cards, and what do you know, it was Danger Mothman. Isn't his little arm creepy? It's gross. And Goki Pool. Ostinato, Patchwork Fluffle, Chimera, and, oh, here's another Dino Wrestler, Sistosaur. 
It's so weird to say their names because they combine a dinosaur name with like a wrestling name. Except everybody knows Pankratops. Now that's a card there. That is a real card. Uh, Rise of Salmon Great, Agave Dragon, Galaxy Brave, Orchestrated Attack, Herald of the Abyss, Salmon Great Heat Leo, uh, Chimera, Spaffa, Necrofusion. This card's interesting, but it's so bad. <laughs> it's just, it's so bad. Like, it, it has a neat concept, but it's a trap, so it's slow. And it, the monster you summon can't attack that turn. It's like, why? Uh, giant Ballpark. Alvis of the Nordic Affair, which is a TCG exclusive. It's an ugly-ass Nordic monster. Cotton Eater. Thunder Dragon Duo. Okay. I always use one. Orchestrated Babble. Orchestrated Core. Orchestrated Einset. Ah, oh, I didn't get any more orchestrated. <laughs> I got so many orchestrated cards in that pack. Like four out of nine. That was crazy. I like those orchestrated monsters. I think they're pretty cool. Invinci Invincibility Barrier, Emerald Eagle, Salmon Great Gift, Capoterra, another Danger Dog Man, Token Collector, the Sneak Peek card. It's actually a really good card in my opinion. Token Collector, it's pretty, it's pretty fun to use against like uh, Trickstar if they summon a whole bunch of tokens. Stegosaurus, Con Concentrating Current, and Gravekeeper Spiritualist. I really like the artwork on this Gravekeeper monster. It looks pretty sick. So I've still not gotten a Pankratops, even though it's a common. Obviously, it is a short print common. All right. World Wand, Predaplast, World Dino Wrestling, Thunder Dragon Hawk. That's a good one there, folks. Toll Hike. Two for one team. Look at the artwork on that. Look at that nonsense. Uh, Greg Hero Spiritualist, Dragons to Palia, and Solomon Great Sanctuary. This was, of course, Thunder Dra Avian Thunder Dragon over an OCG. Uh, so this is a really good one. So if you guys notice, the Thunder Dragons with the light attribute have a better discard than Banish effect. This one actually has one of the worst Banish effects, even though it does come in handy once in a while. Uh, you can discard this card, special summon one of your Thunder Dragon monsters that is banished or in your graveyard, except Thunder Dragon Dragon Hawk. <laughs> Thunder Dragon Hawk, my bad. I have such a tough time with their new names. If this card is banished or sent from the field to the graveyard, you can shuffle any number of cards from your hand onto the de into the deck and then draw the same number of cards. You can only use one Thunder Dragon Hawk effect per turn and only once that turn. I rarely ever use its banished effect. Uh, I will sometimes if I just have to use its... <laughs> if I have to banish it, I'm like, yeah, I'll shuffle back one card that I don't need. It, but it's, it, its banished effect is pretty poor. It's probably... It, it's easily the worst one. All right. Crusadia Crawler. Rise of Salmon Great, uh, Giant Ballpark, Alvis, and Longursu, your orchest orchestrator. Is this supposed to be like Beethoven? I'm not sure. I know they're supposed to be, like, I think they're Link monsters for the most part, they're supposed to be like famous conductors. Clock Wyvern is the rare. Pencil Plume, uh, Sanctuary, and Falco. This is my favorite impan impancantation one, the, the Pencil Plume, the Plume Pen, the one where you dip. Dip the quill in the ink. They have a ritual monster in this too. I haven't pulled that yet. Out of this box. Alright. Still rolling here. Salmon Great Gift. Salmon Great Emerald Eagle. I did not realize this was a, a damn ritual monster. Crusadia Crawler. Mystric Holder again. And Fright for Patchwork. This card was really good when it was first printed in OCG. Too bad we'll never see play over here. I wonder how many Fluffle uh, decks I'll have to play against now. Chimera, Solomon Great Mirror, uh, Pencil Plume, and Doom King Purple Armageddon. What a ridiculous name. Does that have... No, I thought it had a super purple thorny dragon, whatever it was. I used to have to play against Fluffle all the time when Cosmo was the best deck because it was actually one of the few decks that Cosmo struggled against. Only because of uh, Fright for Sheep. All right, Galaxy Brave, Flame High King G Genghis, Salmon Great Foxy. Oh, there we go. There's a Pankratops. Finally got one. Another Danger Mothman and a Necro Valley Temple. Super King Doom, Revenge of the Normal, and Concentrating Current. Whoa. 
It's so weird how bad the uh, Gravekeeper support is in this. Like, the last time Gravekeepers got support was Legacy of the Valiant, and actually had pretty decent cards. This time around, it's like, what the hell? Owls of the Nordic Affair, High King Genghis, Salmon Great Foxy, Thunder Dragon Titan for the Secret Rare. That's a good one. Thunder Dragon Matrix, uh, Austin Auto, Galaxy Cleric, Salmon Great Falco, and Dino Wrestler Stygiosaurus. Or whatever it's called. Thunder Dragon Titan sounds so much better than Thunder Dragon Lord. Uh, I really like this monster because it's supposed to be like King Ghadir. And they just announced the other day a new Thunder Dragon monster. Thunder Dragon Goliath, the Link monster. And it's so funny because it's Thunder Dragon Titan with mechanical heads. Just like Me Mecha King Ghidorah, which is supposed to be King Ghidorah from Godzilla. Three heads, you know. This is like one of the, my favorite cards ever printed, perhaps, because of its outrageous effect. So, it must be either Fusion Summoned or Special Summoned by banishing one Thunder Monster from your hand and one Thunder Fusion Monster you control except Thunder Dragon Titan, in which case you do not use Polarization. When a Thunder Monster's effect is activated in the hand, even during the damage step, quick effect, you can destroy one card on the field. If this card will be destroyed by card effect, you can banish two cards from your graveyard instead. So, this card can be really insane. I've actually been able to blow up in one continuous link, three cards in my opponent's field, because they discard Avian, Chain Effect, Chain Thunder Dragon Matrix, Chain Effect, Chain Thunder Dragon Dark, Chain Effect. So it'll actually be six chain links by itself. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous, and you can destroy three cards on the field without targeting. Which is absolutely unheard of for a monster. Now, you can get around its effect if you're playing against this. If you chain anything after because you have a right to respond. Let's say my I let's say I'm playing Thunder Dragons. I discard Thunder Dragon Matrix. I'm going to try to activate this guy's effect. You can just chain a Book of Moon or something, and it will negate his effect. Because the last thing to happen has to be a Thunder a Thunder Monster activating in the hand. So there we go, Thunder Dragon Titan. Looking good. All right, let's see here. Dino Wrestler King T Rexel, Giant Paul Park. <laughs> Emerald Eagle, World Legacy, World Wand, and another Herald of the Abyss. I think I've gotten three of those already. Constellation Prize, that's a TCG exclusive rare. Uh, Diana of the Light Spirit, Necrofusion, Incantation, Pencil Plume. How many of you have written with a, a, a feathery pen? I, I have actually written a few times with a quill and ink. I did it once in Medieval Class. And I did it once for something else, too. It might have been, like, U.S. history. Agave Dragon, Jack Jaguar. Is that supposed to be a reference to Jet Jaguar, even though it looks nothing like Jet Jaguar? Bear Blocker. Cyber's Clock Dragon for the rare. I mean, the ultra. Uh, Gravekeeper's Supernatural. This is a good-looking monster, too, for Gravekeepers, but too bad it's terrible. Uh, Capioraptor. A spiritualist. Will the Salmon Great and Patchwork Fluffle. Cyber's Clock Dragon, the cover monster. Uh, let's see here. Well, man, this is weird. It's it's got so much text that it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a break underneath the, the requirements to make this thing. Of course, Clock Wyvern and a th one plus Link monsters. Okay, when this card is Fusion Summoned, you can send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard equal to the total Link rating of the materials used for this card's Fusion Summon. If you do until the end of the next turn, other monsters. You control cannot attack. Also, this card gains a thousand attack for each card sent to the graveyard by this effect. Well, you control a link monsters. Your opponent cannot. Your opponent's monster cannot target other monsters you control for attacks. Also, your opponent cannot target other monsters you control with card effects. If this fusion summon card you control is sent to your graveyard by your opponent's card effect, you can add one spell from your deck to your hand. My God, that's a lot of text. Whew. Give me a second here, folks. That's so much shit going on there. So you link, so if you have a link one fused to it, it can send one card to the grave and it gains a thousand attacks, so it goes about 3,500 and you can only attack. And then your opponent, if you control link monsters, your opponent can't uh, target your monsters. And then if it does get destroyed by opponent's card effect, not by battle, but by card effect, you get to add one spell of your choice from deck to him. I like that part, that part's really good actually. Add any spell. That's hella good. That's like uh, like Magician of Faith, even though that's from Grave. Uh, Salmon Great Foxy, Agave Dragon, Dinosaur or Capitaria, Rise of Salmon Great, Galatea the Orchrist Automaton. This is Ibli, I think. Uh, turn into like a mechanical like clock or something. Clock Spart 01, or is it Spartoy? I don't know. Crusadia Sparthoth, 
Chimera and Salmon Great Mirror. So I should be still looking for one more Ultra, I think. Yeah, it should be one more. King T. Rexel. I, I love the name pun on this monster. Invincibility Barrier, Galaxy Brave, some Summer Summoner as the Super Rare, and Sinet Fusion. It's obviously the Fusion card to make the Cybers Clock Dragon. Subsurface Stage Divers. What the hell? Predaplant, Dragosopelia, Orchestrated Core, and Down Arrestor, Kepateria. Ah, just need to pull that Colossus. Oh, there's another Pankratops. That's good. Salmon Great Jack Jaguar, Inquidation Bookstone, Predaplast. Oh, here's the new Sky Striker card, Vector Blast. So this one's pretty good. If you control no monster, you main monster zone. Each player sends top two cards of their deck to the graveyard, or as many as possible with less than two. Then if you send at, send at least one card to the graveyard and have three or more uh, spells in your graveyard, you can shuffle all your opponent's monsters from the extra monster zones into the deck. It's pretty good. It's a good card. And a Thunder Dragon Discharge, which is Thunder Dragon uh, Streamer, I think, in OCG. It's an okay card. A Pencil Plume... Armageddon and Ostinato, which is an old ass card. I can't believe we're getting now. It's like two, three years old now for uh, Melodious. Imagine the Melodious players if there's any of those that exist. So, like, finally get Ostinato. Your deck was never good to begin with. Crusadia Crawler, or should I attack until no more arms are needed once again? Noble Knight is. Ivane? <laughs> are they just making up. Characters now because they got to be running out of King Arthur uh, characters. Orchestra's Harp Horror, Diana Light Spirit, The Revenge of the Normal, Patchwork Fluffle, and Salmon Great Mirror. All right, just a few packs left. See what I can pull. Salmon Great Gift, Emerald Eagle, Crusadia Crawler, Alvis of the Nordica Flare. Fogo, Justice for Hire, <laughs> another for Hire, and Goki Pole. Yep, get that, get them beats ready. Galaxy Cleric, Salma Great Falco, and Down Rust of Stegosaur. So I've pulled two Pankratops. Whoa. That's how many I've gotten. That shows you it's pretty short printed. World Dino Wrestling, World is like World Wand, Invitation Bookstone, and Morgan, the Enchantress of Avalon Ultra Rare. Uh, 100. The, hunt, the Thunder Dragon's 100 Thunders. <laughs> That's not a bad rename for that card, really. Diaplexer Chimera, Crusadia Spartha, Necrofusion, and Downarrest of Stegosaur. All right, this uh, Morgan card is pretty insane for a uh, hand trap, I think, for Noble Knight. When your opponent activates a card effect, but you control a Noble Knight monster and a Noble Arms a quick spell, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to the grave to destroy one Noble Arms quick spell, equip spell you control, and if you do, negate the activation. Uh, you can only use this effect to Morgan, the Enchantress of Avalon, once per turn. So that's pretty fucking good. It's a, it's a, it's a hand trap and negate any card in the game if you just have a Noble Knight equipped with a, with a Noble Knight trap or spell. I mean, that's pretty sick. It's like when Subterra got their hand trap. It's pretty good. All right, last pack, folks. Can I get something better than a super? Flame High King Genghis, Song Great Foxy. Agave Dragon, Salmon Great Jack, Jaguar, and a Galata, Orchestra Automaton, and Toll Hike. And we got the finishing cards here, which is the pretty Gravekeeper Spiritualist. So that's the box, folks. Uh, pretty good. I got three Thunder Dragon high rarity cards. Um, obviously, the winner there is Thunder Dragon Titan. <laughs> but, you know, it was a good box. I, I, this whole set's good. There's nothing bad in it. Um, in terms of a high rarity, in my opinion. I think maybe the worst high rarity card. Eh, I don't know. I have to go through them again. Morgan's kind of rough, but I think it deserves an ultra, too. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I know I certainly did enjoy opening and making the video for you all. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this stuff, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified instantaneously that I have some more quality content, Hit that bell icon for whom the bell tolls, and you'll be notified instantaneously that I'm opening up more Yu-Gi-Oh! and I'm drinking more beer. And uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it, and good luck on your polls on the Soul Fusion, and I will see you in a couple of days. Peace!